Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review new movies and today I watched Netflix's new film, Spaceman. It's a science fiction drama starring Adam Sandler, Carrie Mulligan, and Paul Dano. The screenplay, written by Colby Day, is based on the book Spaceman of Bohemia by Jaroslav Kolfer, and Johan Renk directed the film. The story is about an astronaut on a year-long journey into space to investigate an anomaly that can be seen from Earth. Commander Jakob is six months into his solo mission when his marriage starts breaking down. Depressed and nearing the anomaly, Jakob encounters an alien species aboard his vessel. The alien, a telepathic spider named Hanus, is fascinated by Jakob's emotional state and attempts to help him work through his feelings. Yes, that's right, this film is about a sentient spider giving a middle-aged man marriage counseling. The cast list is fairly small with three leads and a couple of supporting characters. Most of the screen time is spent with Jakob, played by Adam Sandler, and Hanus, played by Paul Dano, on their spaceship with regular cutaways to the characters on Earth. Most of the screen time on Earth is spent with Lenka, Jakob's wife who is played by Carrie Mulligan. The visual journey mostly takes place on Jakob's ship. We watch him and Hanus meet, start to interact with one another, and then slowly work through Jakob's memories of Lenka. Each memory comes in the form of a distorted flashback. There are also a few weird happenings on his ship like technical glitches and strange floating lights. We also get to see a lot of CGI shots of the anomaly off in the distance and the ship flying towards it. It's like a purple aurora borealis in space. When they cut back to Earth, we see Lenka living independently and going about her daily life while people from the space station try to contact her and her mother tries to discuss her marriage with her. For a soundtrack, we get a lot of instrumental tracks using synths, echoing drums, and rolling shining noises. The tracks are trying to sound unfamiliar or out of this world, while still bringing a lot of tension and mystery to the mix. It creates an uneasy atmosphere on the ship at first, while you're not quite sure of Hanus or his intentions. Slowly, they introduce more emotion into the mix, and by the end of the film, the tracks are trying to extract every bit of sadness and joy from the scenery that they can. Okay, now for the review. The story as a whole isn't that exciting, but it does have some touching moments within it, and a fascinating premise to play off of. The entire journey is spent delving into the psyche of Jakob and his relationship with Lenka. Through that exploration, the film presents a few valuable life lessons. There are also a few sweet moments during the friendship between Jakob and Hanus where Jakob shares his culture, food, and comfort with him. They don't dive too deeply into any one memory, but do a good job of explaining why Jakob and Lenka are struggling and what they need to do to fix it. The one downside is that they never really explain what Hanus is or explore anything to do with his past. Cast-wise, there isn't much to the film. The general cast is called to do some basic emotions and partake in a few conversations. At the same time, the leads are called on to give a lot of emotive performances as they move about their spaces. We see lots of shots of Adam Sandler contemplating the universe, reacting to the memories he's having, and trying to deal with the sudden appearance of an alien aboard his ship. Sandler goes through many emotions over the journey, but the performance ends up feeling a little muted despite it. Sandler also struggles to maintain the accent his character has. He can't seem to decide if he's from Czechoslovakia or the United States. Carrie Mulligan is also asked to do a lot of emotive acting, and does a fairly good job of it. There wasn't much else for her to do in her role, but she did manage to have a decent screen presence during her time in the film. Visually, the film is essentially a one-room play. Most of the screen time is spent on the ship, and they did a fantastic job of designing the set for it. It looks like a real spaceship, and when Sandler's moving around it, it really feels like he's in space. He's floating around the entire time, and we get some beautiful shots out of it. There are also several great CGI shots of the anomaly and the alien. Both are wonderfully done, with a lot of great colors and textures. One of my favorite moments of the film is when Jakob and Hanus are flying through the anomaly at the end, and you can see all of his memories appearing amongst the stars. It's a fantastic shot with a lot of creativity behind it. Sound-wise, the film makes incredible use of its tracks, but they're a little too generic to be memorable. The music they have is great at creating that alone in space feeling. As Jakob is moving about the ship, we get this sense of mystery and dread from the music behind him and it creates a wonderful atmosphere. Toward the end of the film, they start using more emotional tracks alongside the flashbacks and dramatic moments and they're quite effective too. They make you feel for the characters and experience the heights of their pain and happiness. The music, however, was a little too simple, and generic to be memorable. There are no lyrics, this is the kind of music you'd expect from a sci-fi, and the music often accompanies some trippy visuals that it has to compete with for prominence. Overall, Spaceman is an interesting film with a decent visual journey, some okay acting, and a solid soundtrack. If you're looking for something a little different and you don't mind introspective character journeys, then give this one a try. As for a rating, I'd give this film a 6 out of 10. Remember, these are just my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye bye